Hello friends, Clayton Phillips from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And we are gonna do a fly-through video on the beast. This is the 310 GK Solitude by Grand Design RV. And I am just so excited that I get to do a fly-through video on this particular floor plan, folks, because the 310 GK has been the number one selling Solitude by far. And there are just so many people that are coming into the dealership that have taken advantage of this floor plan this year, and they are just having an absolute riot with it. And there are just so many great features on this particular uh, product. One of the most exciting things with this floor plan is the length. And if you've got a three quarter ton gas or three quarter ton diesel truck and up to one ton, uh, this fifth wheel may be right for you. So we're gonna jump into it uh, right from the front on the outside and, and head back. So <clears throat> Grand Design, one of their things, and we're kind of in a tight spot here, but one of the things that Grand Design does on all of their trailers is the front caps on them are fully painted. And what's really nice about a fully painted front cap, unlike fifth wheels and trailers that you might have passed going down the highway, where you see that cloudiness, that, that chalking and discoloration coming down the front cap on the gel coat caps, uh, this is a painted front cap. So they've basically painted it with an automotive paint to help greatly reduce the chances of that happening. On the Solitude, it's three paint colors on the front, but they put on these really nice looking uh, LED strip lights. <clears throat> And you've got these LED strip lights on both sides of the upper front cap. You've got it as a docking light here, just right above your Kingpin, your Rotoflex pin box. And then dialed in down the length of the trailer, I'll just show you, you have ground, uh, ground lighting that goes down the whole length of the trailer front to back, which really makes for a cool setup when you're, you know, set up at your campsite and you know you just flip those lights on and it can just really accent your trailer and add some really cool mood lighting uh, to the exterior of your trailer so <clears throat> again the solitude by grand design folks since its inception the solitude is the flagship uh, fifth wheel product for grand design this particular trailer uh, the solitude all the floor plans is actually eight and a half feet wide it's a wide body trailer unlike most of the competitors out there that are eight feet wide. So you've got some really, really creative floor plans that they've done and unbelievable storage. So we'll just show you now, <clears throat> excuse me. The, they use on the Solitude, the Lippert Z rated chassis. And if you look down here, see this frame rail right here, folks. Okay, so that's the drop frame portion of the chassis. If we go a little further back, you'll see where it jumps up. See where it jumps up right here? just get the camera going there so there you go and what this gives you is the industry's largest pass-through storage compartment so with most of the fifth wheels in the marketplace you see it on a lot of mid profiles or even high profiles for that matter where here at the edge of the storage compartment it goes in about six to eight inches it'll go up about six inches and across and what that does is it really reduces your uh, pass-through storage availability in your compartment here so in with the z-rated chassis because that frame rails drop down will actually give you a seamless flat full floor from one side to the other but one of the things that's really nice about grand design folks is that you have a fully unobstructed pass-through storage compartment there's no PVC plumbing running down the middle of the compartment. It's very clean. They use a vinyl decking versus a carpeted material on the floor of the compartment. But if you look, I'll just do a little shot here. We'll just pan up here. Paneling, you can see where they just really super clean. Everything's nicely tucked up out of the way. They just do such a phenomenal job with the fit and finish of their products. And you'll note that all of the aluminum tubing, I talk about this on all of the videos, they put in more aluminum tubes than most manufacturers. It's taller, it's thicker, uh, it's fully bead welded together both sides. It's not screwed together or just welded on one side, folks. It's, it's a very, very solid, very well put together trailer. 
and it's also a heated compartment as well. So you've got a heat duct right here that will blow heat into this uh, compartment also. So really nice storage compartment, it gives you ease of use to be able to store your larger camping. The camping gear is oversized just like furniture nowadays. So you've got tons and tons of space. So <clears throat> separate utility compartment as well, also heated heat duct as well. So. Uh, Grand Design's done a really, really good job with the R values and the winterization, and we'll get into more of that uh, as we get into the video. But um, Nautilus P1 water utility panel, folks. This has your outside shower, hot and cold tap. It has all of the wiring for your satellite uh, connections for, your, for that. You've got a water pump switch, so if you're leaving the provincial campground before you leave, you can turn the water pump on and off outside without having to go back inside the trailer. Everything's color coded, so from dry camping to city water connection to winterization, sucking the antifreeze right in. This bypasses your hot water heater. You're not having to get on your hands and knees inside your trailer with a screwdriver and pulling a false panel off and turning all these valves and very difficult to see. You don't have to worry about that anymore with the solitude and the Nautilus P1 system. It also has a really good, uh, it has a siphon to tank via pump. So if you're dry camping, you can literally fill up your fresh water tank uh, out of a five gallon pail of water using your water pump. It'll backfill it super easy. On the solitude, you do get the whole house water filtration system. So one of those big tanker trucks is basically how much water it does, about 6,000 gallons of water. Look at the fittings though, higher end fittings, um, PEX plumbing. Uh, water piping which is rated to like minus 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. We go with Celsius up here in Canada. Um, but all your gate valves to drain your tanks are all up inside the, the heated area as well. Your black tank is 50 gallons. You've got gray capacity to the tune of 100 gallons. Uh, so dual 50 gallon tanks, one for your kitchen, one for your, one for your bathroom. And then your fresh capacity on this particular trailer is 93 gallons. So unbelievable tank capacities with this trailer also. So you've got your uh, furnace and hot water heater on the off door side of the trailer, which is really nice. It's going to blow that hot air on the off door side as opposed to underneath your awning. I'm going to back up here just while we're real close to the weight stamp on this trailer. And we're going to zoom in. The dry weight, the stamped weight on this trailer is 12,532 pounds dry. So, um, you know, again, three quarter ton truck. Uh, diesel would be preferred, of course. But, uh, you know, uh, again, the length, 34 feet, 11 inches in length. So here's your electric leveling system control module. So it's a hydraulic six point uh, leveling system with the trailer. So no more monkeying around, having to roll your tire, your, you know, your, your tires up onto blocks, depending obviously, of course, depending on, you know, how uneven the camping uh, surface is, uh, you still may need to do that, but really trying to give you the ability to level the trailer without having to worry about anything. So again, we're going to zip down the, uh, the side of the trailer here back we're a little tighter area on this 310 GK solitude by grand design so again luxury high profile fifth wheel eight and a half feet wide as wide as a diesel pusher motorhome so it's up to six inches wider compared to the competitive product in the industry grand design comes with that three-year structural warranty and again if you've watched a few of our videos talked a lot about that full walk-on roof their slide boxes are fully laminated, the roof, the slide end walls, the end walls, so you can literally stand up on, tops of the, on the top of those slide outs. You have the ability with the ladder to service the roof, sweep off the top of the slides, um, that sort of thing before you bring them in. So, and fully laminated. So they're the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty because they built the product to support that three-year structural warranty. So for 2019, going forward on this particular model, they do put on the 3,000 pound receiver uh, with the chain eyelets and the flat four wiring. So if you're into pulling a boat, uh, flat deck with a quad on it, uh, what have you, this trailer can get it done for you. And the nice thing about this trailer, because it's 34 feet, 11 inches long, uh, you can do that. You're not, you know, in Alberta, you're 65 feet total length. And so you want to be aware of what you're pulling behind and make sure you're within that. Also, it's pre-wired for the rear vision observation camera. Uh, as well. We always recommend the observation just as opposed to just the rear vision. Observation's nice because you can watch the camera as you're driving down the road. If you're pulling something behind the bicycles, you can see those things and you know, you're going to be able to, um, 
pay attention to that. And um, it's got an enhanced stability mode as well. So again, coming down the side, I'm just gonna zoom in on the sidewall <clears throat> of this particular product. So with the solitude, and it might be hard to pick up, but if you're in, in person coming into the dealership, they use a Lamalux 4000 sidewall. And how you tell the difference between, let's say, Lamalux 1000 or Lamalux 4000 is the 4000 is a solid gel coat, so you actually cannot see the fibers of the fiberglass on the exterior wall. So it polishes out really nice. If you actually, you know, heaven forbid you damage the exterior wall of your trailer where they patch it and repair it, they can put that gel coat back over top. Less chance of discoloration and fading and those types of things. So uh, it's just a much, much better, this isn't much, much better, but it's just a nicer, higher end, shinier finish on the exterior of the, of the trailer. So again, things to look for on the Grand Design folks. They don't use Darko fabric on the bottoms of their slide outs. They put a cap edge here. So when the slide outs going in and out, the friction that you can get on the edge of the slide, we've seen a lot of manufacturers that don't put this on, will actually that, that Darko fabric that they put on the bottoms of their slide outs will actually start to fray and pull apart and you'll actually expose the bottom of your slide floor. And that's just, you're opening up your trailer for potential moisture intrusion and that sort of thing. So Grand Design really does all the right things to help mitigate that as much as possible uh, again there's that shot of that led strip light that runs down the the base of the trailer on the entry side so real cool real slick system uh, you got your uh, sewer hose holder as well because there's no four inch bumper on the back they do give you the sewer hose holder so um, underneath the slide out we're going to zoom in on the tires here You've got a 16 inch G rated Westlake Lions Head tire. That tire comes with a five year warranty and a 12 months, no questions asked replacement. So if it falls within the warranty guidelines, obviously within the 12 months, no questions asked, they just give you a new tire. So they run out exceptionally well, backed by a superb warranty and Grand Design does a phenomenal job of, of standing behind that. So Equiflex suspension system on this as well, creates for a smooth ride, allows the tire to more free flow within the wheel well as opposed to just up and down. So it'll really help protect your investment in the trailer and the, you know, the items that you place inside the trailer. You know, it helps eliminate a lot of the vibration and those types of things that trailers can experience when being towed down the road. So. Uh, and this is a Dexter deck. You have the Dexter axles, Dexter brakes, and Dexter easy lube hubs as well. So, all American made. <clears throat> Coming down the entry side here again, uh, we're just going to zoom in on here. Again, the three year, three year structural warranty thump here, fully laminated. A lot of manufacturers do not laminate their slide end walls, and they don't necessarily laminate the roofs of their slide as well. Grand Design does those things. Um, new for 2019 is the uh, ram assist step. What's really cool about this step is I kind of equate it to a bit of a laptop lid uh, where you can stop it at any position. What's neat about this is if you're a smaller person, uh, maybe not nearly as strong, you have the ram support to help that step get lifted up inside the trailer. I'll just show you here. When you back away, you can see what that that step looks like. So it's real neat. You know, you don't have that step hanging below where it's getting caked in mud and dirt and debris as you're driving down the gravel roads and such. A lot of people ask, well, what happens if my step gets dirty while I'm camping? Well, Grand Design's thinking of that and they give you a water port on the entry side of your trailer right here. So, you know, hook up the sprayer hose that comes with the trailer and uh, spray off your step and wipe it down and fold it up inside. So again, see the magnets, magnets everywhere on your entry door, your baggage doors on the product as well. So uh, they're really thinking and, and trying to eliminate things that break and fall off and that type of stuff. So again, another shot of the pass-through storage compartment with the grand design. You can see all the aluminum tubing there. Neat thing for uh, 2019 again, central vacuum on the regular solitude so it does have the central vac comes with the kit that's in the blue bag right there and it has the dust sweep inside also you've got the fury and it's pre-wired you can get right from our accessories department we just came back from a, a buying show and we have these little portable bluetooth speakers so what's neat about this that's the charging station for that speaker what's neat about that is let's say if you're camping in a spot and your campfire is let's say you know, 30 feet away from the trailer. We don't necessarily want to blast the speakers on the outside of the trailer, which this still has. It still has the exterior speakers. I'll just show you those right up there. 
So, you know, you don't have to blast those speakers if somebody's inside the trailer sleeping. You can literally just grab that portable Bluetooth speaker, bring that out to the campfire, adjust the volume appropriately, and, you know, enjoy your music and while you're entertaining some friends and that sort of thing. So, uh, dual awnings on the Solitude. I'm just going to back up here. You've got dual awnings, one from the door forward and one on the exterior wall of the slide. What's really neat about this particular awning that I quite like is the uh, light strip is in the roller tube. So disadvantage to it, of course, is this light is not usable when the awning is fully retracted. Uh, but that's why they give you this other light here and the amber light above the door. But what's neat about this is if the awning is out, it gets the light away from the trailer and you can actually position that roller tube so that light points straight down. It cas you can position it so it cascades across the bottom of the fabric. And you know, if it's neat if you've got a picnic table parked beneath it, it's like a chandelier above a table at your house. It's pointing down, you, you can eliminate the shadow as opposed to that, that LED light strip that runs along the base of the fabric that if you got people sitting out, you kind of create a bit of a shadow there. So just a neat little thing that they're doing. And then again, you've got the awning here on the outside wall of the slide also. So again, with the light, so you don't have that, that, um, that awning going over top of your slide out, which ha you know, obviously this, the slide out would take away from the, the usability of your camp space or how much awning coverage you'd get. But depending on where you're camping, sometimes I find that, you know, a tree could be in the way of in your camping space and, you know, one awning may work, one may not. So you can go back and forth and that sort of thing. So, uh, but they're really thinking. We also, uh, as a dealership, I'll shoot up front here again, uh, we option in the pre-wire for generators. So we're finding a lot of people wanting to add the generator after the fact. It's a little bit cheaper option to do it than as opposed to doing the generator fully at the factory because not everybody wants it. But if you ever wanted to add it, that pre-wire really can help drop the cost of, of getting that generator installed. So <clears throat> again, we're doing a video on the 310 GK Solitude by Grand Design. We have done exceptionally well with this particular floor plan. It's 34 feet, 11 inches in length. We're gonna zip inside. Uh, what's really good about the Solitude, we have a lot of people that are spending winters in them. Not just winters down south in Arizona, but winters up here in Canada. So you actually have an R45 in your roof, in your front cap, R40 in your floor. The Solitude eight and a half foot wide trailer, because of that extra width, they can put on a thicker sidewall. So it's actually a uh, two and a quarter inch sidewall, which gives you an R11 insulation in your sidewall, super thick. And then you've got an R24 slide floor. So uh, super good R values. We also option in two things to give you more heat. You've got the uh, black tank or the, the 12 volt tank heaters. So your tanks are heated two ways, one off your furnace running, which is 35,000 BTUs, but also you've got three individual switches uh, that will activate individually the heat blankets on your holding tanks. And then we also option in the heat pump on your rear air conditioner. In the regular solitude, you have dual 15,000 BTU air conditioners. So uh, tons of cooling and then paired, uh, you know, you can run that heat on that rear air conditioner if you're able to plug into, you know, 30 amp or, or 50 amp service. So, and we're zipping around inside the trailer here, kind of panning around the GK GK stands for grand kitchen. And the cool thing about the grand kitchen is the Island. This Island is gigantic folks for the size of trailer that it is. What really makes this trailer special is you can add it's pre prepped for a dishwasher. So if you wanted to add the dishwasher, it would go right in this cupboard right here. Furion's got a really uh, perfect, uh, perfect fitting dishwasher that we can get right from Grand Design as an aftermarket item. If the dishwasher isn't something that's appealing to you, I call this epic boot storage. You won't find another trailer. I mean, go ahead and look, but for this size of trailer to have this much boot storage at your entry, entryway is unbelievably fantastic. So, and they do the cool little thing on the island here. They got that LED strip light. So you can turn that on if you're watching a movie, give you some indirect lighting, that sort of thing. You've got the hutch at the entryway. So a little, little shelf, uh, cabinet above, storage, crown molding, all LED lighting inside this particular trailer. 
You've got the remotes for your furnace and air conditioning, Max Air fan, the Max Air fan and Grand Design, they put them in all their fifth wheels, right at the end, uh, right in the uh, kitchen area, that's a rain sensor fan. So if it starts to rain and the lid is open, it gets wet, that lid will automatically close. So <clears throat> real neat setup. Uh, 18 cubic foot Norcold gas electric refrigerator. Uh, we bring all of our solitudes in with the gas electric refrigerator. That's an 18 cubic foot fridge. If you prefer to have a residential, we can order you in a solitude with the residential option if you would prefer to have that. We prefer gas electric just because it's more usable in different scenarios up here in Canada. So great big pantry here at your, at your kitchen area. And uh, actually, this is kind of cool. Dual garbage cans, you could do recycling garbage. You've got the new Furion standalone range top, very residential gas electric look. And then the standalone oven as well. So uh, the oven now with Furion has an automatic lighter with it. So you're not having to get on your hands and knees and with a sparker to light it, unlike the old oven and ranges. So great big window. Uh, convection fury and all you know stainless steel appliances real nice look fantastic storage here at the base of your island coming down in fantastic sink here as well so great big sink and then you got the 60 40 split here <clears throat> again wide body design on the solitude 310 gk all of the solitudes are wide body, but what's neat about the extra width is it gives Solitude Grand Design the ability to get very creative with storage. A lot of manufacturers, because they're a narrow body, they have to put storage in areas that Grand Design doesn't have to put them in. One of the things that's really neat about this trailer, look at the size of the windows. They are massive windows. Now, a couple things. A lot of manufacturers, to save money, they'll put in cheaper windows or they just don't have the structure in the sidewall to support a big window. Because of Grand Design's lamination and the way they build their slide boxes, they can put in massive windows. Now we as a dealership, part of that winterization, we option in the thermal insulated windows, which have that argon gas in them as, a, as an insulative barrier from the outside. So, but what's really neat about this is I can stand behind the, the, the kitchen island here and you know working away in the kitchen, doing what have you, I'm almost six feet tall and I can stand up and look straight out those windows. That slide box, you forgive me, I'm not, I don't recall the total height of the slide box, but I wanna say it's like six foot eight. Like it is super, super tall. Grand Design doesn't use any cable slides on any of their products, so that eliminates that great big slide header that a lot of manufacturers have. Uh, but your living room is hydraulic slides and then you do have the electric slide up front. So freestanding dinette, Real nice uh, furniture, uh, you know, higher thread counts, higher density foam on the cushions, just real nice. This is a standalone table, so I'll just flip up the, the table extension. There's no center leg that this table sits on. It's mounted to the wall, and that wall, in the wall where those screws go into, they get screwed into EGS. Uh, it's a sheet of steel that's laminated into the sidewall that that screw goes into. So it's very, very strong. But what's nice about this is that when you slide in and out of under, from underneath the table, you're not banging your knees and your feet. This is a much nicer dinette to get in and out of. And if it's just the two of you, you know, a couple that are heading out, uh, this chair here, for example, you see those metal bars there? These are folding chairs, so you can literally fold them out of the fold them up and put them away. Gives you a little more table space and for two people to get in and out of is a little bit nicer. So uh, flush mount frameless windows, it's a jealousy window. Just crank this window. You know, if it's a little windy and you don't have the awnings out, you know, you want to get some ventilation going, you can crack that window and allow for the air to come in. And uh, you know, if it's raining, water's not gonna come inside, so. <clears throat> Um, theater seating on this, this is, we optioned in the linen interior color. You got two colors, linen and Java. Uh, this is the linen, it's a lighter, it's really taking off. A lot of the people really, really like it. Java is uh, like, a, like a coffee bean color, it's much darker. But the theater seating in the Solitude is electric, open and close, and you do get that blue lighting, the little swivel tables, kind of new. Kind of a cool touch. You've got the cup holder there with the blue light as well. There's also heat and massage in this theater seating. So really, really comfortable seat across from your uh, LED TV. This is on a power lift. 
and you do have the fireplace down below, which is a 5,000 BTU heater. So I'm just gonna zip this down here. And you can see that there's a window in behind here. So again, when you walk into this trailer that's 34 feet, 11 inches in length, it feels gigantic on the inside because of the width, the size of the windows, the height of the slide box, you know, being able to tuck that TV out of the way for safety, per you know, just security purposes. Um, but you know, you've got a, a window there, you've got windows on either side of your sofa, great big window here. You know, when you start looking around in this particular trailer, it is super big inside, so. Love for you to come back or down to our dealership here in Woody's RV World in Leduc. Uh, number one grand design dealer in Alberta. Uh, we just got that distinction. So, but you can see the light above the above the island. So real nice setup in the grand design solitude. Uh, new for 2019. They've gone to a, a new step plate. It's a little more weathered it's got some you know it's like wood that's been beat up a little bit that's the look of it so i think what's really nice about that you know we walk in and out of our trailers to hit the bathroom leave the shoes on if you do happen to scuff up the steps a little bit which could very well happen this is going to help hide that which i think is really cool there's the dust sweep for your vacuum your central vac there's the switch or where you would plug in the port for your hose that comes with the solitude that's new for 2019 so coming on up uh, all line uh, linoleum upper deck they've eliminated all the carpet so it's much easier to sweep out again grand design doesn't put heat registers in their floor uh, sometimes on the upper deck in the bedroom area there is one if that's where that has to go but what's real nice is on your main living area it's a dna item they port the heat ducts through the base of the island and that heat blows out across the floor. So you have a much stronger floor, you have a better insulated floor uh, for sweeping out the inside of the trailer. You don't have those little pebbles and the dust and stuff going dog hair, uh, going down into your heat ducts. So <clears throat> I'll zip up here. Do give you the, the assist handle coming up the steps. Bathrooms are real nice. They've gone to a bigger, deeper sink this year, which is really nice. Thermal foil top. You've got the vanity here above your sink, which is nice for all your, all your goodies. And then panning across here, they've gone to a new shower, which I'll show you shortly, foot flush toilet, little storage in behind here for towels. You can stack them up there. Hooks for your house coats up on the back wall there. But this, this, this tub shower is fantastic. And yes, I said tub, there's actually a tub in this. So it goes down, you know, eight inches or so, nine inches. You know, you can block off that drain uh, you know with a cover of some kind, but they still give you the seat the transition point to get in It's a lower base as well. So if you're a taller person six foot four six foot five Taller they do put the skylight above which is nice for your head to go up inside But you get picked up a whole bunch more headroom in this particular shower um, They went quickly to a, a shower curtain But they what they got feedback from the, the the dealers and people that own the products and they've gone to back to the glass door Which is a win as well upgraded shower faucet fully adjustable Spot to put your soap bar, you know that sort of thing. So really nice bathroom again Pocket door, DNA item, they put it in where they can. Much safer to get in and out of your, your bathroom at night. Swing doors, as you know, open this way, folks. So in order to get in the bathroom, you gotta walk down your stairs at night. We've had customers literally fall on their face into their living area. We had one customer break their arm. So to have the, the, the pocket door sliding open and close is much, much nicer to get in and out. And how they can do that is because of the wide body in a lot of cases, so. <clears throat> Coming into your bedroom, we optioned in the king size bed on this particular trailer. Again, windows everywhere. They don't hold back, they're not cheaping out. That's real nice about Grand Design with the MCD roller shades in front of the windows. So you get a much better blackout versus the woven fabric day night shades that the strings stretch and they fall down over time. So king size bed, uh, since their inception, uh, Grand Design has done a really nice under bed storage, dual gas strut lift up. You can see how they finish everything off under here very clean done very professionally you know you got a his laundry hamper you've got a her laundry hamper and then you've got a spot to place your jewelry watches that sort of thing on this felt tray more storage for laundry if you'd like this slip this flips out so you can use it as a seat to be able to sit down put your socks on in the morning i'll just get back out of the way there so and then they also have on their chest here flips up <clears throat> and you've got six drawers 
six drawers with a spot to again flip your watch out of the way your jewelry you know that sort of thing that whatever you might want to put there so put that down so real nice bedroom again 15,000 BTU air conditioner in your uh, bedroom as well it's all ported through their racetrack system so it's the most efficient air conditioning system on the market and uh, it recirculates back inside that system so uh, the air conditioner is not going to run nearly as long it's not nearly as loud as some other manufacturers are using and it's the coleman system so it's got a better uh, condenser inside that air conditioner as well so you can do a double uh, double stackable washer dryer here or a combo unit all of the wiring is back there the plumbing so if that's important to you for the, you know, your longer trips and that sort of thing, we can always wire that up for you and hook it up. So <clears throat> pocket doors or sliding glass doors for your shower. And you've got the rack, the shelving in the back for shoes and what have you down below. Hanging storage, LED light above. So again, Solitude 310 GK by Grand Design. This is their number one seller. It's going to continue to be their number one seller. Fits your three quarter ton, one ton trucks. It's the wide body design. It's the luxury and class that people want. Fits into the provincial campgrounds. You can pull a boat or a quad behind and get into a luxury profile without being over 40 feet or 42 feet like some of them are. So again, this is Clayton Phillips from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. 310 GK Solitude. I call it the beast because Everybody loves this trailer when they come into it, and uh, we've done exceptionally well with it. The quality, the fit and finish, the look, just the way they do it at Grand Design, and we're just so blessed to be able to represent this product in Alberta. Love for you to come by, 8012 Sparrow Crescent, Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We're just south of Edmonton. Uh, we're getting a lot of people from all over Alberta, BC, Saskatchewan, coming to our dealership here in Leduc. We're doing some things a little differently here and uh, just really focusing in on the customer's experience and uh, doing the right things for you. So come out, check us out, 780-986-1234. Clayton Phillips signing off. Woody's RV Leduc. Take care.